Once again, folks, you are locked in to the Mass Breed This Morning show right here with yours truly, Kenny D. Going to be with you up until... Uh, Going to be with you up until 10 o'clock. We're going to go into our... We're going to go into our entertainment segment for today. So here's the first story we're going to touch on, all right? So Takashi 69 is released, and inmates fearing coronavirus acts, why not me? Now, the rapper will serve the final four months of his two-year term in home confinement. High-profile inmates like Bill Cosby and R. Kelly are arguing for home confinement, too, so far without success. Takashi 69 walked out of federal prison on Thursday, four months short of his two-year term, thanks to a nationwide effort to stem coronavirus outbreak risks at jails and prison, which health advocates fear might become a tinderbox for infections. Takashi 69, born Daniel Hernandez, 23, will finish the remainder of his sentence in home confinement, his lawyer Lance Lazaro said. 69 pleaded guilty to a series of gang robberies and shootings, cooperating with authorities by testifying against his former associates in the gang Nine Trey Gangster Bloods. He has asthma, which is which his lawyer argued gave him a heightened vulnerability to the coronavirus. U.S. District Judge Paul A. Engelmeyer, who sentenced him, agreed, saying that the pandemic presented extraordinary and compelling reasons for a compassionate release to Mr. Hernandez, who he wrote in his order on Thursday, no longer will represent a meaningful danger to the community if at liberty. So what do you think about that? Well, I mean, he definitely... You know, you could say he got off easy because everyone is quarantined to stay home. Everyone is advised to stay home. So him being on um, house arrest almost puts him on the level of everybody else at this at this time. Let me, you know, you know, it's interesting. I, I, I want to find out something. Do you think that he will be able to still successfully put out music? 100%. Um... I took a look at his Instagram page the other day, and the reality is, it don't really look like he lost many, if any, followers. It's not like he went down to, you know, a couple hundred thousand followers or anything like that. He still has a large amount of followers. He still has, um, I think he has a two-album deal with a record company to do an album in English and one in Spanish. Um, he's probably going to get you know, a documentary or some kind of movie deal or a book deal. So the reality is I think he still has the opportunity to be very successful in this time because, you know, the, the times have changed and a lot of people don't really care about an old school rules, you know? Okay, let me, let me ask you another question because, you know, you have been formally educated in the music business, all right? Let's say he doesn't get to perform because I know some club owners and some, you know, people are going to say, yeah, you know what, I'm not going to host a show with Takashi 69 because they may think that he is a risk. They, they may think that persons may want to harm him and they may bring violence to their business place. So let's say he can't perform and get any sh concert money. Do you think he can earn a living um, off of streams? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I believe so. I believe so. And the reality is, you know, for a lot of business owners, it's it's really dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at artists like um, Casanova and, um, well, at uh, some point, well, Pop Smoke, who is now deceased. Yes. They were, you know, the officers were stopping them from performing at um, Rolling Loud and, and certain live events just because, you know, mm -hmm. one between their, you know, gang relations and then also their content, they were being stopped from performing in a lot of places. Even Jim Jones at a certain point had to deal with that. So, you know, you have artists who are doing well on the charts who have been seeing challenges. So I believe, you know, Takashi probably wouldn't have those issues. And then also you have to look at overseas opportunities as well. Mm -hmm. He probably wouldn't be at risk performing in Europe or, you know, different parts of the world who don't really care. That's true. All right. Well, that's uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit about what's happening with Takashi Six Nine. We're gonna move on. So.